How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Sore muscles post-exercise is something that pretty much all of us have dealt with before. And although some of us dread the thought of being unable to walk properly for days, others crave this feeling because it gives them a sense of reassurance that they push themselves hard enough in the gym. In this video, I'm going to explain why our muscles get sore post-exercise and how you can induce this soreness on your own from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. In the scientific community and fitness world, this phenomenon has been termed as delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS for short. And believe it or not, DOMS is actually classified as a muscle strain, meaning it is similar to a pulled muscle. But instead of a substantial muscle pull or tear, DOMS is a result of multiple very tiny tears within the muscle called micro tears. These micro tears trigger the start of many different body processes, which promote healing to the region. Once these kick in and your adrenaline high wears off, after approximately 12 to 48 hours post-workout, the DOMS makes its presence felt on whatever muscles that were targeted. DOMS typically sticks around anywhere from two to seven days, depending on the severity and quantity of the micro tears and how quickly your muscle is able to heal. Knowing how this process works is cool, but how do you knowingly trigger DOMS on your own? Let's take a closer look. Before we take a closer look, I want to mention that I offer private online personal training. Take your fitness to the next level with expert coaching, customized programming, and accountability you won't find anywhere else. Visit ajsteven.com to book an appointment or learn more about how I can help you become stronger, more mobile, and confident in the gym or in the comfort of your own home. In the majority of cases, DOMS is triggered by intense, unfamiliar exercise. But your body is pretty good at adjusting to new exercises after just one exposure, meaning that doing the same workout later probably won't trigger the same result. The secret to regularly triggering DOMS is frequent eccentric muscle contraction. Eccentric muscle contraction represents the lengthening of a muscle during a lift, such as the down phase of a bicep curl, squat, deadlift, or just about any other exercise you can think of. During eccentric movement, your muscle is still working. And you can see for yourself the difference between lifting with eccentric contraction and without eccentric contraction. Eccentric movements such as downhill running, step ups, and resistance cycling have been widely used by researchers to trigger DOMS in their test subjects. Simply put, to trigger DOMS, you need more eccentric muscle contraction in your workouts. You can do this many different ways by including slow sets, negatives, or or any other way you can intensify the eccentric portion of an exercise. Feel free to play around with these modifications and let me know how it worked out for you in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching and stay strong. <laughs>